everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm hoping you can't hear the music in the background my mom's doing housework and she just recently had her birthday and i brought her an alexa because she's not really good at like doing stuff on her phone but i thought it'd be easier for her to just say to alexa what she wants and she's been loving alexa let's just say she's been talking to alexa on a daily basis even my siblings won't talk stop talking to alexa i thought i'd give you guys my pan this eyeshadows update unfortunately i have not had a pan on any products i took two photos of looks i was doing because i basically was just reusing those looks the whole entire month um apart from i did use the purple eyeshadow i'm so sad i didn't film like i didn't take a picture of it um but it was a stunning look and i did it i think that look three times i didn't take a picture of any of them even though it was probably the look that i was feeling the most the first shade that i'm gonna talk about is from the makeup revolution easter egg this purple with blue undertones it's an absolutely stunning shade hopefully you guys can see there is a dip starting to form in here this is quite like a malleable formula like you can move it around quite easily so i've just been focusing my brush on this little area here and this honestly is an amazing shade. I love it in my outer corner and I've also had it all over my lid as well. But I do find I have to pack it on, um, especially if I'm using it with a brush, not just my finger, um, because it gives a much better effect with your finger, but you get more glitter with the blood. The, you get more of the blue tones with the brush, in my opinion. You can kind of see a lot of it stays on my finger when I swatch. And that's kind of how it works when I put it on my eye as well. Sorry if the camera angle has kind of changed up to my camera. I'm thinking maybe with this one another two months? One to two months? I'm not really too sure. Honestly guys, I don't really know with this one. It's really going to depend on how much I wear it, but I do think I'll wear it a lot more in. So the next one I'm going to talk about is my Beauty Bay Everything You Need Bright Palette, which is the mix of matte and shimmers so the shade that i have in here is surreal strawberry i think you can kind of see the b um especially the middle of it the engraving is starting to be worn out um i made a really nice like kind of like red but kind of looked pink because i didn't use like too too much i kind of blurred it out i blended it really softly and i'll put a picture of the look that i made with the shade here and i really really loved that look and i was really digging it and i filmed a video with that look on and i really liked it honestly i really really like this shade it's really nice and pigmented for a red this is a good pigmented red and i do like it quite a lot um and i definitely just need to figure out a couple more ways to incorporate it um especially when i'm going to work for a more neutral eye i love wearing my bright colors again i think i'm gonna get a load more use in this coming up to spring and summer i also really Realize that I could probably use this really really lightly and when I say lightly I mean super duper lightly because this is really pigmented as a blush um but yeah I was thinking maybe I could give that a go as well these two shades are probably the shades I've had the most fun with I also rolled in the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette and I rolled in the shade Hotspot is the very first shade here and you can see hopefully yeah you can there there is a dip starting to form in this look how dirty the mirror is <laughs> there's a dip starting to form in this palette and i'm so proud of myself there is a dip forming it's nowhere near as di deep as the dip that i have in the shade feels but it's definitely getting there it's starting to look more like the dip that i have in caution if you guys can see the dip in caution then i'm starting to get that type of dip just very faintly here um yeah this i use as a base color every single day i use it just to set my concealer i use it just as a base color to anything every single day i've been using this dipping into it just using it as a base shade so that is all that i use this shade for or if i need to diffuse something because i put a bit too much on and i made it a bit more too pigmented for what i wanted i'll just put a little dusting of this over the top to help diffuse it and blend it out and soften the color a little bit more i think um i can have this finished in again another month or two is what i'm thinking with panos eyeshadows i find it's a bit of like a long game kind of thing like you've got to wait like three months before you see the big difference or like the big pan you know you wait a couple of months eyeshadows definitely take longer to hit pan on than other products another palette that i drew in was the Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette and i have the shade for dokes in here and there is definitely can you guys see a pan a pan a dip starting to form in here i don't know if you guys can see very well it's like a circular shape dip i love this shade i've been making a really pretty neutral eye which i'll pop up here with the naked palette the revolution shade that i have in here and this shade in here there's definitely a dip starting to form i think hmm, this will take a decent amount of time to hit pan on i use this in the outer v i use it as a liner etc etc i'm really trying to get a lot of use out of this shade and 
I love it. I'm really, really enjoying the neutral eye that I'm making and I can wear it on a day-to-day -day basis for college and work. So yeah, I'm loving this so far. But I can tell you from how deep this pan is, I have a while to go with this one. <laughs> the final shade in this current rotation of palettes is from the My Sofa X Revolution palette and the shade Peaches, which is this one here. You can see there is a big ass dip in here. I have really been working this. I've been trying to wear it through my crease every single day when I'm wearing eyeshadow, which isn't like every single day of the month, but majority of the days. Um, and you can see the dip is pretty decent looking in there. I think I could possibly have pan on that next next update i think i could possibly have pan on this i definitely think this will be the first one to show pan and i also realized at the end of the introduction i only rolled in mattes also if you're wondering what happened to this shade here i dropped the palette and because the whole thing is like broken and falling apart this whole shade just flew onto my floor but yeah this one's really close i think i'll be able to get this next update hopefully and that is pretty much it. I feel like the first update for Pano's eyeshadows is always so underwhelming, depending on what shade you get. And especially because I've got all mattes, they're all going to take a while to hit pan on. But I will eventually get there. So I'm staying with the same colour palette as I had last month. And I'm very excited. I'm very motivated for this project pan this year. And I feel so good about it. But yeah, that is everything for today's update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. And would like to see more videos from me. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye!